They're not round. These are not round like the old. This new orange, crystal-like resin is transforming the way the oh. Department of Energy and its contractor, CH2M Hill Plateau Remediation Company, treat contaminated groundwater at the Hanford site. This resin strips contaminants from the groundwater. The resin, called SIR 700, is bringing many benefits to groundwater cleanup, including a cost savings of about one million dollars each year. So far, it's working, you know, just phenomenally well, even beyond our projections. CH2M Hill is responsible for treating contaminated groundwater on the Hanford site. Dean Nesham, a chemical engineer, was put in charge of compiling and analyzing data to make sure this new resin would be a good fit for Hanford pump and treats. Nesham crunched numbers for about two years. It's amazing to be to have the opportunity to, to, to work on a project where not only are we saving money but we're reducing the impact to the environment. The old resin was used on site for about 10 years but CH2M Hill and DOE challenged their employees to find a better way. It's very easy to, to get comfortable with what we're doing. It works, you know, it just keep plugging along in it, but every so often you got to kind of take a step back and look at it. Bill Barrett manages Hanford Pump and Treats. He says the challenge resulted in a whole new way of doing business. At the beginning of our current year, we were tasked with trying to find efficiencies, improvements in our processes. Uh, that was uh, put on for the president down. They said we need to come up with uh, better ways to remediate the environment and cheaper ways to remediate the environment. Typically in a year, resin was changed about 100 times then shipped off site. With the new resin, shipping is no longer required reducing worker handling and eliminating hundreds of miles in travel. Fewer resin changes also means pump and treats will have less downtime for maintenance, which means they will treat more contaminated groundwater. Bob Papalarzik, project vice president, says these efficiencies through innovative ideas would not happen without the skilled workforce. Our greatest resource in that has been our workers. They're the ones that are out there day to day. They're the ones that see better ways to do things. And, uh, and it's helped tremendously uh, taking those ideas and, and turning them into fact and, and coming up with better, more efficient ways to get the work done. 